Shall I trust the 3D printed part with my life? Stick around to find out. Hello and welcome to the Random Bros. Having tested all of those prototypes, I came to a conclusion that 3D printed scuba diving add-ons can be a huge asset to us. Let me elaborate. After having a bolt snap jamming on me mid-dive, I decided to design this 3D printed breakaway adapter. No reason to explain how to use it, but keep in mind that side mount divers have to clip and unclip bolt snaps 50% of their underwater time. Also, this particular breakaway adapter stood up to more than 110 breakaways, way more than 15 dives, and it also kept almost all of its mechanical properties. Using this 3D printed adapter will also give you the opportunity to repeatedly teach the emergency breakaway with students without throwing O-rings in the ocean carelessly. Next up, I made a very simple yet effective handle for my X-Tip. Everybody seems to be bothered by it, and so am I. So, I designed these very simple handles with pointy edges so I can easily feel them when I am wearing gloves. That's not a huge thing to do, but it's low profile, it floats, and I like it. As a college student, I can't afford buying tanks so I have to rent them every time I want to go diving. So in every dive I have to spend close to 10 minutes setting up my cylinders with a screwdriver underwater, but I don't have anywhere to store it and I tend to lose it, so what a better way to have it strapped on my mask, but okay that's probably an overkill. Oh, did I say 3D printed? Look at this, 3D printed sliding D-rings. Everybody seemed to be bothered by those when I posted them in a Facebook group, but I can understand why. At first, it's my responsibility to be safe. Secondly, x -Deep includes those rubber things in their kit and everybody seems to be okay with them, not to mention that they deteriorate after minimal use and it's suddenly wrong to use a 3D printed sliding D-ring that I can design to perfectly suit my needs. It's not the most reliable and responsible thing to do as a diver, but I could actually improve my overall trim by using those, and I'm happy with them. And let's face it, 3D printing is here to stay, whether we like it or not, technologies like this are improving rapidly and we can barely catch up with them. A team of engineers even designed and made a 3D printed open source dive computer. And before you guys start bashing the idea, they actually tested it at depth and it works. The team is basically consisting of an electrical engineer and a mechanical engineer. They actually have solid experience with building dive computers since this is not their first one. The whole project seems to be very interesting and I would really appreciate if you could take a look at their website. The link will be in the description. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would be more than happy to hear your opinion in the comment section below. Do you believe that 3D printing has a future in the scuba diving industry?